So I was having a conversation the other day about how cheap televisions had become. And at the time, I couldn't remember exactly how much I had paid for my television. So I went to my computer and opened up Evernote and did a quick search for the receipt for my TV. And in a few seconds, I was able to figure out exactly how much it cost. And this was back in 2012. And I didn't really think much about it at the time. But I've built a habit of storing every piece of paper that comes into my life in my computer. And it's not like it's this onerous task that I have to go through every day or week, you know, and organize everything. It's actually a really simple process. So I thought I would show you how I do it. So I'm going to get my phone and share that to the screen now. And I use an app called Scanner Pro and it's really easy. So I open up my Scanner Pro app and I hit the plus sign and I'm now ready to scan. Now in that case there, I didn't even have to actually go through and uh, press the button to take the photo. It figured out when there was a piece of paper there ready to take the photo, and here's the photo as a result. Now it's got a bit of a shadow on there, and you know you need to sort of work out the best place to take these photos, but I'm gonna give this a name. Uh, I'll just call this um, Furniture Receipt. Press Done, and press Save. Now what's actually going on there is that now that I've saved it, it's uploading that document into Dropbox and that'll automatically synchronize with my computer. And in a few minutes time, that'll actually sync across into, sync across into Evernote as well. But that now means that if I want to find that receipt, I can click on the spotlight search and I can do a search for uh, furniture receipt. And you notice that right here, I've got one called 2016-06-05. That's today's date, furniture receipt. If it hit enter, and I've now got access to that information. Let's just get rid of the phone. Now, the great thing about using this particular app as well is that it does character recognition inside it. So if I wanted to find a particular piece of information, um, let's say, for example, um, that I wanted to search by the invoice number or maybe by the fact that this was bought in Dandenong South, I can do that because all of the characters in this document have been recognized as well.